Hey guys, Jill here with the weekly educational video. Since we are in the thick of the holiday week, we have Christmas coming up, um, finishing up, um, we have New Year's, finishing up the year, and a lot of you guys are going to be making what I call dessert defense foods. So bringing to family and friends, bringing to parties, having dinners, and bringing desserts that you know you can eat. So let me go through a couple of substitutions that I use just as an FYI. Remember, you can use this around the holiday season. You can use this anytime you want to create a baked good or recipe that is um, a dessert or a sweet dessert. Some of the things that I like to use and some rules that I set up for myself in terms of eating desserts. So the first is um, anytime there's a flour um, that the recipe calls for, I try to use either some sort of nut flour like almond flour or peanut flour or um, hazelnut flour, anything that has, um, the difference is that they're a little bit um, thicker and a little bit heavier. So you need to kind of play around with the recipe a little bit, but any sort of nut flour or a coconut flour. Coconut flour is a little bit more um, temperamental. You have to play around with it a little bit. Same thing with the peanut flour, but those are some good options instead of using a whole wheat flour or an oat flour or an all-purpose flour. Um, you might be able to get away with some of the nut flours. The second thing is, instead of using sugar, I use a couple of different sweeteners. One is um, a sugar alcohol called xylitol. Um, another one is erythritol. You can also use stevia. You can also use um, coconut nectar, which is a little bit more, a um, little bit higher carb, a little more impact carb. But you can get away with just using a small amount, maybe a fourth of a cup of that in um, a dessert. Remember with sugar alcohol, sometimes um, you can't really, you don't want to overdo it. Um, can definitely cause digestive upset. Stevia is a good option, but it's very potent, especially if you get the liquid stevia. So you have to play around with the recipe a little bit on that. Another rule that I set up for myself, so those are kind of my like one and two things that I use when I create different recipes. Also, you can use sugar-free chocolate chips if you want, um, different substitutions like that. But one thing I want to kind of hone in on is, remember, with your dessert defense, it doesn't need to be the cleanest food you've ever had. But you can make it a little bit better by maybe substituting in two egg whites instead of a full egg. However, don't forget that if you have to choose between carb or fat, I would definitely recommend choosing fat. It's a little bit less impactful and it sati satiates you more so you don't need as much of it. So if you guys have made the recipe for the um, seven layer bars with the coconut, you know that those are so decadent. You just don't need all that much. You can have a small little square and still feel satisfied. So things like butter, things like whole eggs, those aren't as bad. Even, you know, whipped cream and um, full fat whipping cream isn't nearly as bad as going full sugar and full flour, full starch, all of that stuff. So remember, for perspective, it's the holidays. You're gonna probably have something that's sweet. Always choose, if you have to, fat over starch and make a couple of simple substitutions into your thing. And it might take some trial and error, but those are some kind of hard and fast rules that I use. Remember, don't get too bent out of shape about things like butter. You can definitely do a lower sodium version if you want. Don't worry so much about a couple of yolks. You don't have to go all whites, you know. So those are a couple of things, and hopefully it helps you guys. But we'll uh, get into it more later, and hopefully have a great holiday. We'll see you soon.